you, you've heard it before, but this is, was truly an excellent year. I wish I didn't have to follow Danny Smith, <laughs> but uh, hopefully we'll keep up the we'll keep up the pace that Danny has set and do a, a great thing for the hundredth year for the Legion. Thank you, Danny. Well, now's the time you actually you do get to hear from me a little bit. And we do have an amazing opportunity this coming year with the Legion's 100th anniversary. And although it's not ours as the Sons, it certainly, uh, it certainly is ours as part of the Legion family. Proud possessors of a priceless heritage. That is what we are all about. That's what it states in our preamble to the Constitution of the Sons of the American Legion. We need to be ever diligent to continue that tradition and that honor that is our res assigned responsibility as sons. As you may have heard earlier, my eligibility comes from my father who served in the United States Marine Corps during World War II. He served along with his two brothers. By the way, he is he is with me at all Legion meetings, even though he is no longer with us. He served along with his two brothers, joining the, the military on the Monday after the attack on Pearl Harbor. As his enlistment papers verified after he passed away, we found them. What has impressed me most over the years with my father <clears throat> is that he rarely spoke of his experiences. When prompted, he would often change the subject. He fought in Iwo Jima, Tinian, Saipan, Guadalcanal, and a lot of places that you had now read books about. It was obvious that the memories of those painful incidences remain fresh even years later. And it appears that his efforts were to shield my brother and I from the horrors of war as we grew up in relative peace. But we, as the Sons, as an organization, strive to keep that sacrifice known and honored. It is our legacy as Sons of the American Legion, of those who served, to keep and continue to make people aware of that level of sacrifice. The hardships that all families face when their loved ones are in harm's way, so far away from home. That is why I have chosen the phrase of honoring the past, continuing the legacy, as my motto for the coming year. Keeping memories alive, as well as attending to the needs of the current active military and their families is a large part of our mission. Embrace your heritage, SONS members. You are the legacy, the legacy of service to our country in their time of need. Whether it be World War I, II, Korea, Vietnam, or all the conflicts that have followed, we all have shared in that sacrifice and that commitment to not only protect the United States, but to help keep the world free from tyranny and oppression everywhere. World War I, the last war, the war to end all wars, it wasn't. War seems to be an inevitable element of human interaction. Here we are, commemorating a hundred years from that war, and we still have global strife. Our organization can continue to strengthen, to help and aid those that are willing to pay the ultimate sacrifice for all of us. We have a continuing purpose as sons of the American Legion. Let us be vigilant in maintaining our organizational strength so we can fulfill that mission. In an effort to carry on that mission, I'm going to outline a few goals for the 2018-2019 Sons of the American Legion year. First of all, we are planning to give the American Legion the best 100th anniversary present ever. You've heard me say this maybe before. That is the highest membership figures and the highest charitable donations that we can attain.
But the important point is, national commanders come and go. A new one is standing before you now. There'll be another new one in another year. I trust that you are not waiting for orders from this commander to begin the year. And you have kept vigilant and hopefully are maintaining all the momentum that Commander Danny Smith's year set and keep that going and get into high step as early as possible. Our 100th year of the Legion gives us an unprecedented opportunity to recruit members. We'll get a lot of PR this year just, just because of the 100th year. Use that PR and enlist some new members. Let us push our membership into the 400,000 member range this year. We could do that. We, we hope to continue and keep those renewal rates as high as 90% as well. I do not need to tell you all that renewal is the easiest part and the easiest way to strengthen membership. Those that have been members but are not up to date with their dues are like low hanging fruit ready to be picked. Get your membership mechanisms rolling early and start with renewals. The Legion uh, commander candidate, Brett Reistad, is going to call his membership team, Team 100. The membership shirts, which you may have already seen in emblem sales, say Team 100 on them, including our shirts as Sons of the American Legion. Well, we are part of that Team 100, and we need to help the Legion toward their goals in stopping their membership decline. We too need to seek out veterans for potential Legion membership, and I encourage all of you to do so in this critical year and in this year of amazing opportunity. If our parent organization grows and stays strong, guess what? That's tremendously helpful to us all, and so do we. So we too are Team 100. When you hear that, Go for that Team 100. You're going to hear the new Legion commander, no doubt, say that often. And I encourage you to join in. Who are we? We are Team 100. The project for this coming year from the Sons will be the Child Welfare Foundation. We've always been strong in that. We'd like to continue it. We'd like to be able to reach the $8 million mark this year. Wouldn't it be great if we hit eight? And it certainly would be fine if we hit nine. So we've got all kinds of ways to go. Again, what a potential gift to our organization that would be to hit that $8 million mark, which is in sight this year. The other main charity that I hope to uh, have everyone involved with this year is the National Emergency Fund. Again, not new to us. But Mother Nature has continued to wreak havoc on our country this year. Between floods, fires, storms, volcanic activity, and other devastating forces of nature, the national NF, uh, NEF funds have certainly been depleted this year, and we need to replenish them. Let us step up and fill those coffers so that our own posts, units, and squadrons will have the funds they need if disaster strikes. I'm going to go off, off speech here for just a second and say I, I visited Texas earlier this year and, I would, and Texas is a, a little bit smaller squadron than New York is and uh, I watched them hand out two checks on stage to two individuals, $20,000 a piece from the Sons of the American Legion Texas, $20,000 to one gentleman, $20,000 to another gentleman because their posts were destroyed in Hurricane Harvey. I couldn't believe that a small squadron could hand out $40,000 in the blink of an eye. That is what we do as sons. And we need to continue that and we need to step up and keep those funds available when we need them. An additional goal that does not appear in our statistics or numbers that we need to address this year is what are we doing with our members under 30 years old? Could I ask any Sons members in the audience who are under 30 to please stand? Thank you. 
you noticed how many stood. We have them. They're there. They're in the books. They're in the numbers. They are our next leaders. What does our organization offer to those that are under 30? How are we relevant in their lives? How can we engage those members to become part of our active future? We will be looking for those answers throughout this year, and you can expect that it will be a topic on each of the committee's commissions and be present in some of their reports. And again, this, bring, this year brings us another great opportunity, but along with that opportunity suggests great, res great responsibility. We have an excellent crew of commission and committee men selected this year, an excellent group of national vice commanders. All those people are empowered to move us forward from the great strides of Commander Dandy Smith's year on to this coming 100th year anniversary for the American Legion. Let us move forward with immediate action to step up the pace of our membership and our fundraising abilities so we can provide that American Legion with the best 100th anniversary present ever. Thank you.